Welcome, welcome, welcome. What is up guys? Welcome back to our channel. And we're, we're back, back with, with another, another video. video. We've been going for a long time, but I think we're back consistent now. Yes, we are. Today we are making steak and spaghetti. Well, steak and pasta. I said spaghetti. Yes. Steak and pasta. So we're at Whole Foods right now. Mm-hmm. And so what are we getting from Whole Foods? We're here to get some steak, mm -hmm. steak, um, pasta, shallots, mm -hmm. butter, rosemary, and I think, the, and pasta already. I said pasta already? I think so. And I think that's it. All right, so we've made it back home. And the first thing we did was pat the steak dry, as dry as we could get it. Then we followed right up with our avocado oil. Well, we didn't have avocado oil, so we had to use olive oil. But, you know, once the steak is nicely oiled up, now it's time for the seasoning. We're going to grab some pink Himalayan sea salt and some pepper, applying a generous amount to both steaks. Because if you apply a little bit, once you put it in the pan, all the seasoning is going to rub right off. And your steak ain't going to have no seasoning. We also seasoned the cutting board. That way, we don't miss a spot when it comes to the seasoning. We threw the steaks in the fridge for a few to let the seasonings do their Magic. Nick was up first, so it's time for her to cook her steak. She goes on ahead and lays her steak away from her. Perfect technique. The pan was piping hot, ready to go, and we let that share for about five minutes. Now it's time to flip. That crust could have been better only because of that gray area right there. I give it a seven out of ten. Beautiful crust. The other side looks a lot better. We cooked that for another four to five minutes, and then it was time to share the fat cap. Went on ahead and let the fat cap sear for about three minutes. Here's how we're looking. Looking pretty good. And now it's time to baste the steak. If the steak ain't basted, I don't want it. Well, this is not my steak, but still, if the steak ain't basted, it's going in the garbage. You feel me? We gotta baste the steak. So Neat goes on ahead and throws in her butter. She goes in with her shallots and followed right up with her rosemary. She let the aromatic simmer for a little bit. She wanted to get fancy and throw the rosemary on top of the steak, give it a little more flavor, and now it's time to baste. Her nails might look good, her tattoo might look good, but that flick of the wrist needs some work. As long as she basting the steak, that's all that matters. She took it off the pan to let it rest on the cutting board while it was time for me to cook my steak. Watch and learn, people. We're gonna start off with some olive oil. Let's pretend that it's avocado oil. Go ahead and grab our steak and lay it away from from us in a pan and we're gonna hold it down you feel me that's how you get the perfect crush hold it down for the first 30 to 45 seconds and when it's time to flip look at that crushed once we flip it we share the fat cap add our butter our rosemary aromatics garlic thyme whatever you want you feel me let the aromatics cook for a little while grab the spoon tilt the pan and now it's time to flick the wrist that's how you base your steak you feel me like i said if it ain't basted i don't want it might as well throw it in the garbage because we ain't eating it. Now we're going to take the steak off the heat, put it on the cutting board, and let it rest for five minutes. We're going to go ahead and cut Neek's steak open first. Now it's time to cut my steak open, and we're going to compare the two. Mine's like a medium well, perfect crust. I eat this any day of the week. And Neek got a perfect medium well as well. Both steaks look amazing. And now it's time to do a taste test. Let's get to it. Okay, this is mine. Just flip it. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Not Are you showing me a tattoo? She got a tattoo, y'all. Oh, no, I forgot. Hold up. What y'all think? Turn your hand. The other way. So I got this tattoo like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Yeah, almost four. Almost four, four weeks ago. This whole arm is going to be my sleeve. Once I finish my sleeve, I'm going to be done. I mean, I do have some tattoos on this side. I also have another hand tattoo. Got my hair transplant. As you guys can see, everything is coming in together. Yeah. In about four months, she have a full head of hair. So I'm excited for that. Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoy, please make sure you leave a like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace. Peace.